Counts 73 percent by submission. Never won by decision. What's he looking for here, Dragon? Check out the right arm of Minowa. Minowa has grabbed the right arm of Adiwan. So that's going to open up a little bit more options and he's not going to be able to defend himself as well because Adiwan looks like he's possibly going for a Kimura on that other side as well. Intricate little chess game going on right here between two high-level athletes. Adiwan told us he knows how Skilled as Minowa is on the ground. I was going to try and finish him in the stand-up. Didn't believe that Minowa could finish him in striking. And in fact, Lito has never been stopped by strikes through 12 pro bouts. Also holds a 15-2 amateur boxing record. Does the Thunder Kid, but no chance to rain down the thunder on her own Minowa at the moment. And just a... Good. Tangle here. What is Lito going for now, Mitch? He's going right back to the Kimura. He loves this submission. It just gives him so many more opportunities. He can sweep with it. But a beautiful job by Minowa to kind of maintain that composure. Oh, beautiful little slip out to the side there by the hip switch. By Lito Adiwa. Now he's dropping the hammers down. But good job by Minowa to regain that composure. You mentioned Adiwan's record and how good he's been doing lately, but it's the last seven matches. There has been a switch thrown in Lito Adiwan, and he has just found another level. And I really think it has to do with his training partners. He has joined Team Lakai, and he has surrounded himself by some of the very best athletes in all of the Philippines, pretty much all of the world. And we're really starting to see that in his game. And his ground game has improved as well. But right now, this is Minowa's world. This is what Minowa loves to do. Let's just smother his opponents. But you can just see how active Lito Adiwan is. He keeps trying to negate the position of Minowa and keep things moving. It's been a long time since I commentated the name Minowa. He used to be associated with a very famous pair of red underpants, Dragon. Yeah, now the red shorts are on the other team now. Look at the good control by Minowa. He's able to secure that half guard. You can see how he's got that body lock tight to the guard. He's that underhook on his left side. How he has that arm of Lito Adiwan. That's given him really good control. And it's enabling Minowa to keep Adiwan flat to the mat. If you're in side control, you have to try to scoot your hips away from your opponent so you can create that space. But when you can't and you're stayed flat to the back, you're just kind of stuck in that position. Adiwan's got to create that movement. He's got to keep moving because here you can see now Minowa's in north-south and he can drop those knees to the head. And dropping him, he is indeed. The cranium crackers there off the right knee from Hiroba Minowa, a 21-year-old who has never been finished as a very impressive second round. Good ground control by Minowa. He was just able to shut down the offense of Lito Adiwan. You could see in the first match when Lito Adiwan was in guard, when he had his both legs wrapped around Minowa, he was able to attack submissions. He was able to go after that Kimura. He was able to go after the armbar. But then once Minowa started to advance his position and showcase that ground control, we could see that he could shut down the offensive attack of Lito Adiwan. So the end swell being used to the side of the left eye and on the forehead of Minowa. Mitch, we score as an overall contest under the global rule set, but if you were scoring this one round by round, who would you have ahead at the moment? It's pretty close. I think the submission attempt and just how deep that Kimura was in the first round by Lito Adiwan gave him the advantage in that round. And I think that... You know, uh, Minowa was able to sort of get a lot of that back, you know, make up a lot of ground with Guts. his just Guts. ground control in Guts. that second. But I think it's really close at this point, and it could go either way. And I think it's going to depend on Adiwan keeping it on the feet and Minowa getting it back down to the ground. Third and final round. Hiroba Minowa, seven of eight submissions by a choke. Six by a rear naked choke. If he takes the back of Lito, it is danger for the Thunder Kid. No sign of that yet. It's been Lito, the Filipino, who has had the submission opportunities. And again, you see the Thunder Kid controlling center circle. Pressing Hiroba Minowa to the outside. Plenty of movement, both drifting right and left for Hiroba Minowa. 
see, Michael, you can see that, you know, Minowa doesn't want to step into the range. He doesn't want to get close to Adi Wan because he's, you know, nervous about those hands. But Adi Wan's also a little tentative to throw the strikes because he doesn't want that double leg to shoot in on him again. Adi Wan protecting that number five ranking in the heated strawweight division. A loss tonight to Minowa. Good see Minowa slipping to number five. And what a stacked division it is. Beautiful double leg again thrown down by Minowa. He was able to duck under that right hook. You can see the, just the, the tentativeness of Adi wanting to throw in that hook. And as soon as he threw that one strike, Minowa snuck right in there, turned the corner, put Adi Wan down. And now we're getting to see what makes Minowa just so good. Half guard position here for Hiroba Minowa, looks to pass, does so, wanted to take the back momentarily. Back inside of half guard. The champion in the strawweight division, the teammate of Lito Adewang, Joshua Pascio. Number one ranked, fellow Japanese man, Yosuke Saruta. Another Japanese number two, Yoshitaka Nito. Rene Catalan, another Filipino number three, the Brazilian Alex Silver at four, and the Thunder Kid rounds out the top five. Yeah, the Japanese and Filipino martial artists are just dominating the strawweight rankings right now. And this is what we're seeing. We're seeing two very high level strategic masters going at it right now. And this is the game plan of Minowa. We said at the very beginning, the ground was his world. And we're seeing why that is. Adi wants got to get that underhook so he can turn onto his side to create that little bit of space. But Minowa knows exactly how just to, he's trying with dig with that right hand. He's trying, but a beautiful adjustment by Minowa not to let him get that escape. He allowed Lito Adiwan to get back into full guard just to keep that position because I think he knows just how explosive Adiwan is. And he might have been able to get out if he got that underhook. Mitch Adiwan has had eight first round finishes, three by sub, five by knockout or TKO. When it goes beyond the first round, do you sense any confidence slipping away from the Thunder Kid if he can't get them out in the first five minutes? You know, it's a very good point, Michael. You know, but I just don't get a lack of confidence ever from anybody from Team Lakai. They believe they are in the match from the start to the finish. And they can end you with just one well-placed shot. You can sleep, you know, and... Lido Adiwan still has time to work through this. He's got to do what he's got to do. He's got to push off. But again, Minowa was just all over him. It's like being caught in a fishing net in the ocean. There's just no escape. No matter how much you struggle, you can't get away. You've got to rip through that fishing net and try to get to safety. But we're seeing a beautiful just control and top position game from Minowa. Of course, two of the teammates of Lito on tonight's card in our co-main and main event. In the co-main, Jay Hayastakwio, former world champion, takes on Song Min Jong of Korea. And the big one, former world champion Kevin Bellignon goes up against Hands of Stone, John Lineker in a bantamweight stoush. Inside the guard of the Thunder Kid, with one minute remaining, some half strikes, posturing up momentarily from Hiroba Minua. Yeah, Minowa is only 21 years old. This guy has absolutely no ceiling here at one championship, especially putting on performances like this. But I also think this is going to do a good job just to Lito Adiwan's experience level. He's going to know what he needs to work on, and he's going to try to make those corrections by going back into the laboratory out there in Baguio and really putting in good work with Team Lakai. But we're seeing Minowa just put on a performance right now of ground control, ground and pound, and really just controlling this matchup. Minowa looking to continue a streak and make it five in a row. <laughs> For the Thunder Kid, it would be seven in a row if he wins this one. It is going to go down to the wire, you feel, unless a stoppage here from the Hammer Fist strikes of either man. Big Hammer Fist off the right hand here from Minowa. They are bringing it home strongly. Aggression from the bottom position from the Thunder Kid. And who will take the mod? Look at the sportsmanship, the respect, and the honor between two phenomenal martial artists. Wow, what a matchup between two top level strawweights. Here is Minowa just letting go of the ground and pound at the very end of the round. I think we have a new contender in the strawweight division. This match is presented to you by Xbox Power Your Dreams.
After three rounds of battle, we turn now to the judges' scorecards. Judge number one calls this contest in favor of the red corner. Judge number two calls this contest in favor of the blue corner. And judge number three calls this contest in favor of your winner by split decision from the red corner. Estimated him, he has their respect now. The 21 year old on a five match winning streak. And coming up next, this one's gonna be a ripper Yuri Samos versus Van Rong.